Here's a question asking about the average rate of change of a function. And I want to back up from that for a second and just remind you that average rate of change is just slope. Okay, so if you know how to calculate slope, right, mx plus b, that kind of slope, then you know how to do average rate of change. There's nothing new here. So I'm going to take a look at this problem and say, okay, I've got, I've got a function, and they want to know the average rate of change on this interval. Um, now, if you're not familiar with this little symbol right here, this, this thing, what that means is uh, basically in. Okay, it's math speak for the word in. Uh, you could also think of it as is a member of, but that's the same thing. So it's saying that uh, our interval goes from negative 3 to negative 1. X is in those values right there. So where's negative 3? Right here. And negative 1 is right here. So what's the slope on a line connecting those two points? And it's going to look something like that. And I want to know what the slope is. So maybe you have a problem that's asking you for the slope between two points. That would be basically what we're doing right here. This point over here is negative 3, comma, 4. And this point over here is negative 1, comma, negative 4. And now using those two points, we're going to find slope. So let's think about what we know. x1 equals uh, negative 3. Okay, x2 equals negative 1. y1 equals 4, and y2 equals, <sighs> equals negative 4. I got fat fingers, sorry. Okay, so using that information, now we're going to figure out slope or average rate of change uh, using this formula. Rise, which is the change in y, over run, which is the change in x. Now the change in y is just y2 minus y1, and the change in x is x2 minus x1. So we have up here our numbers. See, they were in the graph for us. It was very nice. This is negative 4 for y2 minus 4, which was y1, over negative 1 minus negative 3. Okay, so that is going to be equal to, we have a negative 8 there, divided by, well, negative 1 minus negative 3. I think that's 2 on the bottom. So this is going to be negative 4. Negative 4 is the average rate of change which is the same as the slope between these two points.